Buckle up, baby. The Revelations hype train is rolling out of the station. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ecoli Espresso, and we've got so many little teasers here throughout the day. And I honestly had something planned for my usual 5 p.m. upload time, but that didn't happen because, well, we got something way bigger here. The first official teaser trailer for Revelations. An official trailer. Not any little teaser, but a full trailer. So this trailer, there is so much imagery, so many tie-ins, and so many familiar aspects that we'll see here within this. But before we get too far into it, if you guys are interested in an Infinite Warfare giveaway, link is down there in the description below. And if you guys are hyped for Revelations, drop a like down below on the video. And if you guys want to stay up to date with everything Revelations, maybe consider subscribing. But let's talk about the trailer. Firstly, let's get into the quotes here that you'll hear within this trailer, which, by the way, the full unedited trailer is down below. So firstly, Takiyao says unimaginable evil manifests all around so much of the past has returned but what of our future so the unimaginable evil part is presumably directed at the apothecans and monty and the so much of the past has returned part well we'll talk about that in a second but i think by the trailer you'll be able to see what he means now what of the future well the ending of this is relatively unknown and how it will shape up but it's definitely going to be interesting here with this. Nikolai then says, We put our fate in the hands of a madman. Truly, we have reaped what we have sown. So, there's a clear lack of faith in Richtofen and maybe foreshadowing a massive plot twist. Richtofen says, My god, what have I done? Stop it, Edward. Breathe. And then screams Maxis. So, this can go a few number of ways to me. Firstly, the first of which ways that I see this going is that he's royally messed up. Like, big time, doomed all the characters level of mess up. Or he could have played directly into a Maxis trap, which maybe Maxis once again actually is the antagonist through all of this. Then we have Dempsey finally saying, with a tearjerker quote, we'll fight side by side, back to back, even if it's for the last time. So they definitely want to harp on the final battle that this is going to be the conclusion, the concluding factor of the zombie storyline, and it's the last time we'll see our characters. Now, as doubtful as I am that Treyarch will give up zombies, the storyline will more than likely end with massive brackets, but probably will leave one peephole open for something to leave a cliffhanger that'll lead into the next title. But quotes aside, let's talk about the imagery because there is so much to take a look at here within this trailer. Firstly, there were a massive load of things in this trailer, both new and familiar, and right from the get-go, the beginning sequence behind the every story has a beginning, they flashed multiple maps, those maps being Moon, Shangri-La, Ascension, Kino, Doris, Shinonuma, Verrucked, and of course, Nocturne Toten. Now, I wouldn't get my hopes up for the likes of those maps returning, or at least rather most of those, because those were the same images that we saw way back in the Origins trailer three years ago, just showcasing and paying respect to the very humble origins of the game mode. However, break into the actual sequences, and you have Origins, not necessarily remastered, but in-game in Revelations. So, yes, that's what it sure seems like here within this one and other frames, that Revelations won't just be a brand new map, but it will incorporate various other maps like Mob of the Dead, Origins, Keynote or Toten, and Nocturne Toten. So, maps that have coincidentally enough had assets placed in the game code with strings attached to the folder DLC4. So, I'm not saying that we're gonna be getting all new Zombies remasters, but if my hunch is correct, we're gonna have Revelations containing both brand new parts that we We've never seen before but also these parts of the maps that were being showcased right now so if that is the case then revelations is going to be huge if not well then the flip side of me being wrong for this then points to remasters coming back which if you count them up mob of the dead origins keynote or toten and knocked that's enough for four other maps in a map pack. So, which one it'll be? A huge map of Revelations having both brand new and familiar pieces of different maps we've already seen, or having an all zombies map pack. I don't know, but whichever it is, it's gonna be freaking fantastic. So, whatever one this happens, I don't think we can be upset with this. Now, as for the new images of Revelations, they're definitely surreal and very cryptic. They play on the Origins vibe, but also have a lot darker of an atmosphere. We as well see the return of the Crazy Place portal with presumably the Aether in the backdrop. So, the next thing that I want to talk about is this frame in particular. I know we're reverting back to statements here we mentioned, but I can't help but mention to you guys how apparent they're showing off the actual maps for all of us to see in perfect clarity. To the left of Nikolai is the sign for Generator Station 3 in Origins. 
Now, the next part, this one actually has me perplexed a little bit. The spinning weaponry, something that almost looks like the Aether in a weapon, maybe like a cannon. But to me, I feel like this might be map altering like the drill on Moon was, but it looks absolutely ridiculous. Now, call me crazy as well, but in this sequence, we see to the left of this something that really catches my attention here with this. And what that might be to me is the Pack-A-Punch machine. Now, it's a very out there guess, but it's intriguing to me in the nature of its shape. Another hint then comes after this in the sequence following to Mob of the Dead, and then the one that just blew my mind. Watch this. Watch this a couple times if you have to. But do you guys remember the distant monster easter egg on Zetsubo no Shima? No? If you don't, it's okay. I don't expect you to because it's ungodly in depth and wasn't really made too public. But basically you had to go to round 50 and off in the distance you could see a shadowy spiky figure making its way across the skyline. Now, it was thought to be a continuation of the storyline that the Wolf Bow quest told in Der Eisendrach, but we never really had any confirmation. Now, in this trailer, we see a spiky monster off behind Nikolai, and in my mind, I have no other thought in my head other than that of this monster. So whether or not they're specifically tied in, that's something that I don't know, but it definitely is very interesting if you ask me, and something that I think might actually be a huge connection here with that. But after that, we don't get too much. We get a broken down Der Eisendrak, a Richtof and breaking down for, again, a reason we don't get no. We get the premise statues returning, hinting at what is to come in a chamber that we have not yet seen. And we see a little bit of a new entrance that we don't know of just yet in this map. Or perhaps it might be another shot of Shangri-La, which would be really interesting to me because we haven't seen anything other than that pointing to something that is upped in graphics for it. So I'm thinking it's just a brand new entrance. And then Richtofen then charge and screams in the name of Maxis. Now to end it off, I don't think I could have thought of a more perfect ending and emotion pulling quote. Looking into the three dimensional universe off in the Aether, Dempsey proclaims that we'll fight side by side, back to back, even if it's for the last time. So the intended visual showing them in the Aether, a higher dimension is such a perfect representation. And then that quote just ends it off beautifully. So that said, that's going to wrap it up here today, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this breakdown here. I had a lot of fun with this one, and I'm so excited for Revelations here coming within DLC 4. It definitely is going to be a massive map, sure to hold a ton of mysteries, a ton of surprises, and things that Zombies fans will definitely love here entirely. So that said, drop a like down below if you guys did enjoy. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe on the road to 50,000 subscribers. So every little bit does help and is, of course, greatly appreciated. But my name is Nicole Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace. I can't believe we actually have this. Hell yeah.